Yo, yo, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to my channel. First of all, Happy New Year to everybody. I can't believe it's 2017. I hope you guys had a great 2016. So today we're doing another video. It's completely different. This, this video is gonna be so off topic from everything that I've done on my channel, but this is what I'm so interested in right now, and it's to uh, make games or making experiences in the uh, Unity engine using HTC Vive. Now, I haven't completely learned how to make a game yet. I'm still starting it out, I'm still learning, but what I do know how to do is how to get the HTC Vive hooked up with Unity so that you can start playing around and just basically the basics. So what I wanna do is make a simple tutorial straight to the point and uh, just show you how to do that. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that you wanna do is go ahead and download Unity and um, I'll have the link down below in the description just to make it easier for you. All right, so this is gonna be the first screen that pops up when you're in uh, Unity. So what you wanna do is click new at the top right and just name your project. So I'm just gonna do a test project and then I'm gonna choose a location for this and uh, it says Star Wars scene, but yeah, I've been working on some Star Wars stuff, which is pretty cool. I'll probably show you guys later, but uh, test project, select folder. And then you just wanna make sure you have 3D on, uh, then just go to create project. So the first thing that's gonna pop up is your scene. Uh, it's taking a little bit, so it's importing everything it needs for your project. All right, here we go. So this is gonna be the first thing that we're gonna see when we open up Unity and you check out your project. So on the left here, this is uh, gonna be your project name or your scene name. Uh, this is the main camera in the scene, and you can see that if you go to the game tab, nothing's in there, so you can't really tell what's actually in there. And then your light in the scene. Um, so the first thing we wanna do is just get rid of the main camera. So like I said, we're gonna be testing or using the HTC Vive, so I'm gonna remove that. And what you wanna do is go to the asset store and look for, and what you wanna do is search for Steam VR. And you also wanna make sure that you have Steam VR enabled or uh, you know installed on your computer already. So I'm gonna to go to Steam VR plugin and import that into this project and click import. This is gonna take a little bit and then uh, go ahead and say I made a backup, click okay. And then you'll notice down your assets, you now have the Steam VR plugin for Unity. Okay, so now we have the Steam VR plugin import it into our assets and what we want to do is just go to that folder in steam vr and then go to the prefabs folder and then you have your camera rig right here all you want to do is put that into your scene so you notice uh, on the right side we got the transform so this is like you know your left right x axis your y axis so up and down and then z so you kind of just want to put it wherever you want it to be um, so here i have it at negative one i'm going to go to one to have it right at the floor now, we don't really have anything in this scene. If I go to the game, you know, there's nothing there. So I'm just going to put a simple uh, 3D object in here. So I'm going to put uh, a plane, and that's right on the ground. I'm going to bring it up actually a little bit. See, once I bring the plane past up it, and the blue disappears, that means that the, uh, the camera is below the floor. So you want to get it kind of lined up, the blue above the plane. So I'm also going to uh, put a cube in the scene too so 3d object cube and i'm going to bring it up above right there so if we look at the game uh let me bring the camera up a little bit if you look at the game you can see the cube and the plane down below but i'm going to bring the camera right back down so i'm going to do Control z and uh we're good so yo that's all there is to it now all you have to do is press play up here and you can look at this scene in virtual reality on your HTC Vive. So let me plug that in real quick and I'll show you what that looks like. So we're not gonna need, actually I'll pull the, I'll pull these in there too. We're not gonna use them because there's no interactivity in the scene yet. But uh, if this video gets over 100 likes, I'll know you guys want me to show you how to use the interactivity uh, with the remote control, like walking around and grabbing stuff. So over 100 likes, I'll do that. If not, I'll maybe eventually do it, but it's gonna take me a little bit of time because. If it's not important to you, it doesn't matter if I do this tutorial. <laughs> All right, we're ready to go. I'm gonna hit play in Unity, and then I'm gonna put the headset on. All right, so here, there it is. Let me show you the remotes, because you can see the remotes in here, if they're on. Yep, there you go. So this is, come on, get tracked. It's not tracking the left controller. 
for some reason. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, for some reason, the left control is not in there, but it doesn't matter. So anyway, you can see the remote control, it's all tracked, cool. The cube is there, which we put in, and the plane is here, and I'm walking around in it. Uh, so literally just set this up in, I don't even know, like two minutes, so simple. Uh, now you could just kind of imagine like what else you can do with this. I mean, I just set up a simple scene in like two minutes. Obviously something more complex is gonna take a little longer, but uh, let's get back into Unity. I'm gonna show you just a few little, uh, few different things that you need to know how to do. So like I was showing you before, you can move it around and place it anywhere in the scene that you want. You typically wanna have it level with the floor because if not, when the person puts their headset on, they'll be under the floor and uh, you don't want that. <laughs> That's not gonna look good. Um, and also you can adjust the scale of the camera. So if you wanna be like a huge giant and look at this cube, as a giant, you would just change the scale of this to say 10, 10, 10, and then it'll literally be a heat. Let me see if I, if I could, um, can you just move the thing? All right. Yeah, now you're just huge. Uh, but yeah, so down here, you see this like color, it's like a baby blue or a light blue color. Um, it has the size of the play area. So if you want it to be like a certain size, you can go by what they have there. It's 400 by 300. And I think that's in centimeters. Uh, but what I typically do is just, in, I just use calibrated. So whatever you have calibrated in Steam VR, it'll just uh, push that calibration uh, into your game. So it's working fine. So honestly, like that's really all I wanted to show you was how to get, uh, your HTC Vive to work with Unity. Um, now, like I was saying before, if you guys are really interested in me showing you how to walk around in the scene using the remote control or uh, opening doors or picking things up and throwing them, you just let me know. Uh, actually, no, just get this video over 100 likes and then I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it sooner than if I were to do it without getting 100 likes. I, I do want to do it eventually. Like I was saying before, like I, I'm just starting out in this. I don't know everything there is to know about Unity or making games, but this is something that I said I'm just so interested in and uh, I just want to learn more about it. So I figured I kind of share the wealth and teach you guys how to do it too if you guys are interested. Um, now, if somebody's watching this that does know how to make games, if you know how to script things and want to help me out, uh, just send me a message. I'm looking for help. I want to figure out how to do a few things. So uh, that'd be awesome. Now I'm just going to go back to, um, I'm just going to X this out. We don't really care about this anymore. I'm going to um, open up one of my other projects that I've been working on for just like a few hours. Um, it's called Star Wars Scene. I'm going to open that up and then we'll check it out. So I put R2-D2 and uh, BB-8 in like an Imperial corridor and I've been trying to work out the lighting because I can't get it down right. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, uh, but it looks pretty good. It looks better than I thought it was gonna come out. Now, I didn't make these models, but um, you'll kind of get an idea of what they look like. Um, can, I'm gonna hit play. Can you just like look around at them? So Diana's just gonna pick up the headset. You can't see her, but she's gonna pick it up and you'll kind of get an idea of what this scene looks like. The lighting is pretty legit. Like it looks pretty good. Uh, look, look down. They're, sh they're like right to your right, or you could back up. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, they look pretty realistic. Like it's pretty crazy looking. <laughs> uh, now, like I said, I didn't make them. I wish I could make something like that, but like just kind of putting them in the scene. They're not doing anything. They're not animated. Uh, I did do some animated stuff, but not in this one, but um, that kind of just gives you an idea like of how crazy realistic it looks. You can imagine like how it will look in VR. So anyway, guys, uh, like I said, this is just a quick little how-to video on how to get the HTC Vive working with Unity. Really basic, no, not much detail there. It's just kind of just showing you how to get yourself in your scene when you put like a cube and a plane in there. And it can get pretty complex with like what I was showing you here. Um, but anyway, I uh, hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, give it a like. Leave a comment if you have some questions that you're not sure about. I don't know everything, but I am trying to learn this. I do want to get better and make something crazy epic this year. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.